Hope Uprising was um, we this original phrase thing that I had this small simple chorus that we we're I was maybe even going to turn it into a song or something like that, but um, this had probably been well before getting into the album process too. Um, we used to call it Come Out Breath because it's the first bit of the lyrics and that's all we had, but um, I guess once we got down into doing the whole uh, how the album was going to piece together, coming off from Take Me and the space that was involved in there, we wanted to kind of link the two of them kind of together as like we see that Hope Uprising is like kind of a continuation of Take Me because the if you listen to the track and album back to back it, it continues in the whole pad thing we wanted to um, we wanted to um, leave leave the space that was there and uh, kind of on our first album we had a, a song that was uh, yeah instrumental and one we, of the things that we like to do on our records is sometimes just like leave space and, and not just have a bunch of like singing parts but like kind of interpretive stuff that just create a bunch of atmosphere and so we just wanted to do that again with this song yeah because we i mean in our, music in general is is i think one of the most powerful things i mean god speaks through uh music i mean so powerfully and uh we uh we it was just a continuation like we said to take me and i just had this simple little chorus that we get to and we just kind of repeat over and over and again we wanted to have a Christian came up with the idea to do everything completely cut half time half time so Love the, 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 li the lyrics the lyrics yeah. go half time and stuff like that too and and we were uh, we were really pumped about it and uh, just another excuse really to put another bass drop in the song <laughs> <laughs> not, ex not, not exactly breakdowns all breakdowns all day yeah breakdowns we put as many breakdowns in the song as possible so uh, <laughs> so Micah can hit his cymbals really hard or be really frustrated because he can't hit his cymbals <laughs> hard when we play live it's uh, very intense one. <laughs> it is intense and then we, we also put the breakdowns in the song so Dion can uh, throw down can, can throw down throw down <laughs> fall down slam dance but yeah. I mean, in all honesty, without, without joking, like we, we want it to be as intentional. I mean, from front to back, but and where where these songs sit together, like, it was very intentional in the journey that it takes it takes you on. And uh, I find we were we joke about it when we were doing up the track list, and we we're like, oh well, we start with attention, and we get into some fun with this and this, and then we get to you know, forever your grace, and then as soon as take me starts, we're like, now it's really starting to kick <laughs> off. Like it's get, the intensity really, really starts it to builds, build. It builds attention as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which kind of, which at least we hope grabs people's attention, not the sound attention, <laughs> but their actual attention. Um, you know, and really directs it towards everything that's going on in the music and in the lyrics. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that's that's the vibe I get when I listen to it. Just that song. Um, Hope Uprising, it, it really just builds a tension when it hits that 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 half time. It's just like, mm. yeah. And and, oh. and it's, it, again, even the feel of the music, it's intentional because the whole theme of the album, the whole uprising theme, is uh, you know, it, it's not uh, necessarily this like pretty little picture. You know, I mean, life is a struggle, and uh, and living out our faith today in the world is it's it's, it's, it's difficult at times. But with all the, basically what we would, not to get like crazy spiritual or anything, but the, the spiritual warfare and the enemy and, and the just evil in the world, um, the, the sound kind of like just is trashing back at that a little bit, you know, like um, this is what we're going to be about. And, and we don't, we do like this influence style of music and stuff, but the intensity in the song is not just intense for the sake of being intense. We're really trying to, you know, push through boundaries and break through walls and stuff like that um, through the music and through the lyrics. So, I think one of my favorite things about the hardcore scene, which is my roots too, is it's really funny that you know the contrast that you'll see in a worship, you know, a typical worship time when you know most people are kind of you know clapping their hands. I'm being obviously being like you know uh, making a generalization. a generalization but like you know people clapping their hands like this and just you know being all collected and then you go to a hardcore show where people are jumping over each other's heads and going abandoned. absolutely insane and I just love that passion and, I, and one of my hopes and what we do is that we can create the the whole point of uprising is supposed to be about a movement of people that are doing something different in the world and so my hope is that through that kind of like hardcore influence that we can actually show people 
hey, you can have some passion when you're worshiping. And so that's why we try to throw some of these elements in there because it just gets me fired up when I go to these shows and I see it feel that well, passion. Well, and it works at least on us, the four yeah. of us. <laughs> so, I mean, there's four people right there because... Yeah. Yeah. But it's very intentional and... Um, yeah. Simple little idea. And then we try to move all these musical elements in there. We just, there's just those four lines and then... I guess four or five minutes later, There's after uh, after your eardrums maybe bleeding a little bit, <laughs> yeah. you uh, make it to the end. Hope uprising. <laughs>